Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can make him a believer in the isolated clean palm. It's hard to find believers in them. Maybe you had knight of seven there. Wake up, man. Probably should play knight of seven all day. Uh, maybe I was in trouble for one move there. Let's see. But it was one move. Yeah, I had a feeling that the way he played this, I can, I can play d5 at some point as a sacrifice for sure. So eventually I got around to it. This is the this is the critical critical thing. Is is black better in this position? I played the best move here, a little surprised, and then I played an absolutely terrible move, not finding knight f seven immediately. Still winning though, but okay. Knight f seven's pretty obvious. Let's see if he plays the uh, the better defense, what it looks like. H4 is fascinating. 
this pawn sacrifice. Really cool. And then a deflection, trying to play rook takes rook to play knight takes bishop to deflect the queen. And if he moves his knight, I don't think I have queen takes or queen to d4, but I certainly could play pawn takes e6. Yeah. And this is powerful for sure with a fork. A bunch of different fork ideas. So we can't take that pawn. D5 is crushing. Well, let's see. 97 definitely makes sense. <coughs> and then a really cool concept. Don't ask me what's going on after King H8. This looks like utter insanity. But Knight here is threatening to win the game. After Bishop takes, you're threatening to win the game. And then it wants to uh, go into this end game down a piece, but um, there's some residual problems. There's no way to save that knight, the major pin. So what else can Black try here? H6. Computer thinks that it's winning for Black at first, but I got a feeling there's some heavy duty long term, long term attack potential. It's not immediately clear what White's threat is. Well, probably just pawn takes pawn check, basically checkmate or win the queen. So, save the queen. And White's actually taking his time here. Looks crushing. Yeah, this is a really hard move to play in a game. Bishop h4, basically a waiting move, but it has an auxiliary threat. And black's position comes crumbling down. But amazingly, black's still fighting here. Yeah, there's a nice tactic. If uh, if white gets greedy and plays queen takes bishop, there is the nasty rookie one check with a counter deflection. Most likely you win for black. So it's really crazy. After knight takes d5, black's actually back in the game. So where did white go wrong? Maybe bishop h4 is a little too subtle. We can just play the straightforward bishop takes. Knight takes. Give it a check. I like this move. d6 seems simple enough, but it's okay. Not that clear. And Rook here checks the threat, but I don't quite have enough. I can even play Rook to C6 and hang off. So not D6, but Rook D3 perhaps? A slow roll? Hard position to evaluate. Queen G7 is natural. Big mistake because it drops a rook. Queen d8, according to the engine, is the best move. When it doesn't know what to play, it says everything is equal. But all the moves are kind of different looking, right? Rook, a, rook g3, pawn b6, queen takes pawn. These are significantly different moves. Same outcome, though, because this is the basic. Uh, Holding pattern. I'm a little surprised that white can't press for more, but okay. He's down a rook. And he's under attack, right? So yeah, this is a fun kind of middle game to play for sure, that you can get from many different openings. Uh, this basic this basic structure for white. Uh, I've read is the most common pawn structure indeed in all of chess, middle games. So it's good to know how to play it and how to defend against it. Alright, if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and tell a friend.